Why is it important for you to share your story? By talking very, very honestly and open about what happened, what worked well, what didn't work well, what effect it had on my life, my physical appearance. If that means that one person contacts the police, then that's life changing. And it could even be life saving. I was content with life and I was running my own business. By the time I'm rescued, although I didn't know all of this at the time, but the migration, I've lost 25% of my body weight. I was a physical and mental wreck. How many attacks do you think you went through? She just unscrewed this hoover pipe and whack, or stamp on my privates, sink her teeth in the top of my head, fractured some ribs, took the pigmentation off my skin. She'd bite, she'd punch, she'd spit, she fractured my skull. She would have a mobile phone in her hand that she would ram into my cheekbone when she poured a kettle of water over my groin, not once but twice. She branded me with a red hot iron on my lower forearm, put cigarettes up my nose. Or she'd punch or kick. After a beating, I'd literally just slid down the wall to the floor. I'd become a prisoner in my own home. Did you confront her in any way or ask her why? What did you fear would be the consequences if you were to speak out? Did any of your friends or family suspect anything was going on? Stay in your house and be beaten and abused, physically, emotionally, psychologically, sexually, because the other choice is to leave and be killed. Did you have to face Michelle in court? Is there a difference between a domestic abuse victim and a survivor? And it was the best piece of advice I'd ever been given. So suddenly this thick fog that I'm living in is not quite as dense. So now I'm beginning to get my voice back. In the 14 months from the Ian at the start of that to the Ian at the end of it, what was the difference? They saved my life. The Ian today does not live in any fear at all. The Ian today wants to reach out and help other people. And I'm living proof that you can craft a life for yourself after an abusive relationship.